Hello, today's video will help you with why the Lua scripts for creating screenshots. First, let me briefly explain the features of this script and some precautions for using it. Simpause pauses X plane, use this to stop at the perfect scene for taking a picture. Data output can be toggled with a simple button. The take a shot button works but is incomplete because this window gets captured along with the screenshot. Therefore, it's convenient to assign a hotkey to easily toggle this window. Except for DOF quality and CAS, the terms used are the same as those used in real cameras, so it shouldn't be difficult to use. The reason there are two focal length settings is to make fine adjustments easier when focusing on subjects at close distances. The main purpose of this tool is to allow convenient adjustments with mouse works other than manually adjusting data for numerical values. Additionally, for some reason, the default focal distance of x planes screenshot tool is 3 meters, which often feels lacking. This tool allows you to easily set the focal distance up to 1.5 kilometers. From this point on, the features require caution, so attention please, be cautious when modifying the values visible only when advanced is checked. Once these values are changed, they won't automatically adapt until you restart X-Plane. To revert exposure settings automatically, enable the default screenshot tool in X-Plane and press the auto exposure button. Bloom values will return to their original state only after restarting X-Plane. FOV and roll values do not revert to their previous states even after restarting X-Plane. Make sure to remember the values you are using, you can change them with this tool or in the X-Plane options. Spill fog is still being optimized by X-Plane and can cause significant frame drops. Therefore, it's a hidden feature that normally cannot be toggled without a separate tool. However, using this tool, even those unfamiliar with auxiliary tools can easily capture volumetric fog scenes. The shorter the visibility, the greater the spill fog effect. Don't forget to turn off spill fog after you finish taking your photos. with different bloom values several times, once you start understanding these values, your photos can look stunning. Watching. For information on downloading the Dinky Style Photo Tools Lua script, please check the video description. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a great day, and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.